Friday. New do, new who? <laughs> Whatever they say. Um, so yeah, I got done at like 11, almost 11.15 last night. So it's definitely different. I have to get used to it. I never had this type of hairstyle. So I don't know why I feel like my scalp is more prominent or something i don't know but usually i don't maybe because yeah all my stuff is snatched up in here but usually when i get my hair done i don't like it till the next day anyway so once i get dressed and style it hopefully it looks better um it's just different for me but yeah so i started at 5 30 ended at like 11 10 something like that when i left and my husband me some weird numbers sorry all the time calling um my husband texted me said the power went out <laughs> so um last night when i got home the whole sh like half the street our side of the street was blacked out but the electric company was doing some type of work so they had already put a sign saying like thursday and friday don't park here from 11 to like 6 in the morning so <clears throat> they started at like 10 o'clock like 10.02 to be exact, and the power went out, or they turned the power off because it was working on something, some poles, whatever they're doing, and then it came back on, I think 5. It was probably on before I woke up because I woke up at like 5.20 to use the restroom and I seen like the lights that came back on, stuff that was on before the power went out, like the air, air conditioning unit, some fans, some lights. So I used the restroom and then went and turned off that stuff and then lay back down because, yeah, my phone had died. It was already on like 18% when I got home. Couldn't charge my phone. I was like, what if I oversleep because I have to get up in the morning? So I had my tablet that was charged, but it runs off of Wi-Fi. But I was able to like set my alarm on there and um, I got up and put my phone on the charger like five some this morning when I seen everything was back on. So that was one thing. Um, the school had a PTO meeting last night, so I had it on, but I didn't have the volume on because I was getting my hair done, but, um, I knew that they were having like a bowling fundraiser or something like glow in the dark bowling, but I never put two and two together that it was going to be at the school. Well, I kind of figured it may be at the school, but I thought maybe in the hall or indoors somewhere, I didn't picture it being outside. So they're having like jumpers and food and like bowling fundraiser event where you got to, you know, pay for tickets and stuff. So it's going to be outside, obviously, at like six o'clock. Our price is from five to seven. And, um, you know, they're going to be on the yard. They're probably going to be there early setting up. So I just canceled practice. I contacted my, um, I contact at the studio that I sometimes rent out and she's like in Rome or something but she's like I can contact someone at the studio and see if they could fit you in like but I'm like paying $120 everything's last minute I didn't want people to have to drive it's a little further out than where we practice at now so I was like I want to save that $120 on another time like when it's raining or, or something where we need a spot Versus just today because we still have a little bit more time to prepare for competition. So I just canceled practice, which I hate doing. Like I said, next week is my birthday. Next Friday, I'll be at practice. Um, any chance, like, crutches can stop me. A foot surgery can stop me. Like, I'm at competitions on crutches. Like, whatever. Like, I'm there no matter what. Unless, you know, since something like this where I just can't have it. And this is why I need a space. So, yeah. But to the, it's what, 840. I'm working. And then um, since I have no practice, um, I'm probably going to finally get my nails done. <laughs> they are hideous. My feet are even worse, <laughs> to be honest. So, it's been like over a month and a half. So, um, I plan to get that done. I need to get snacks for Case's game tomorrow. I won't be able to go because this game is late at 3. And by the time they're out of there at like 4.30 to get home. And I have to be like, I guess it's downtown or close to downtown. I don't know exactly where 
the theater is to meet my friends at six for the comedy show that they're taking me to for my birthday. So, and I still don't know what I'm wearing. So I have to do all that today and probably early tomorrow. So now that I have some free time, I got to get the snacks, find something to wear, get my nails done. Because I really do that today, majority of today. So I'm not running around tomorrow. So I'll definitely take y'all along. I don't know. Yeah. Everything's going to go. But that's what it is today. I got to adjust and... and figure out i hate again counseling practice but i have to do what i have to do uh i just what makes sense i don't want to spend 120 dollars because it's out of my own money like i don't get like i said now that we cut in half i'm not getting any extra money like to pay myself or to do anything else so everything's coming out of my pocket so might as well save that but I will check y'all out later when I'm done working. I had started off on my weekly vlog, but it wasn't really too much going on. So, um, yeah, I got a new do. Uh, these twists are really, really new because I've never had them before. So they're different. I don't know if I like them on me just yet. So I just got them done last night. So we'll see. The verdict is still out on them. Um, I am in the car as usual. I'm on my way to pick up my mom and then pick up Kalia from school. Um, and then I'm going to head over to the AT&T store to pick up Kalia's new phone. Um, she just got the 14 Pro Max. The 15, I, I know, is coming out. But she just wanted an upgrade. She has a 13 and um, her battery, as I said, which you probably won't see this because it was on another clip of the vlog for the weekly vlog. But um, her battery is going out, so we had to take take it to the Apple Store to get a replacement battery, and it still didn't do anything. Um, so I paid ninety four dollars for nothing. So now she has upgraded phone. I just have to go pick it up, and then um, finish work. And I'm probably gonna go to the nail salon, and I need to go get snacks for Case's basketball game tomorrow to pass out. Um, yeah and see what i'm gonna wear tomorrow to this comedy show my friends are taking me to and we'll see how that goes but it's hot it's humid it's 79 but it feels like 99 because the humidity is killing me my air is going back in and out again i don't know what the heck is going on with it but yeah so i will check y'all when i get to a store A lot of these shoes. So at least not my size. Let me see. Good morning guys. It is what is it? Saturday. <laughs> what is going on? <clears throat> It's Saturday at 10.23. I am still half sleep. Okay. Um, I try to sleep in. Case woke me up at like 7 o'clock. 7.30. Saying his throat hurt. His, his nose is congested. But he slept with the air conditioner. He sleeps right next to the, the unit or whatever. So um, I got up and gave him some medicine. He wanted some water. So he got some water. And then he went back in the room. I laid down, but I was up for like another 30 minutes or so. And then um, I finally went back to sleep. I woke up like 45 minutes ago. Uh, someone was calling me, so I answered the phone. I'm like, shoot, what time is I need to get up? Because I need to go take, they're doing some type of giveaway again. Because um, I'm taking, um, what was I gonna say? Sorry, I'm thrown out by all these people that's out here. I am, um, I take Cam's phone to AT&T because they couldn't do it online last night. I was chatting with somebody on how to do it. 
and it just was not activating his number so I'm going to AT&T then I need to pick up a Nordstrom order um, I just got some I just got a t-shirt and um, some blazers just black and white blazers that have been out high top has been out for a while so I'm picking that up to wear tonight to the comedy show and I'm gonna wear if this looks right so we'll see but I'm gonna wear um, the shirt is a Maya graphic t-shirt um, the shirt is white her background is red like it's a square so it's not like the whole shirt and um, I'm probably gonna wear my leather pants and the blazers and it's like tie up the shirt or something um, but yeah because we have to walk from the parking garage to the comedy show it's only like four minute walk but I figure we'll be walking anyway so I'm not wearing no heels and um, it's raining like it's it's like a spritz right now um, so I don't know what's going on with this weather it did kind of look like it was gonna rain yesterday but you never know in LA it'll look like overcast it's been humid hot and then it doesn't rain but I guess it rained last night and um, I got up this morning or just leaving now and my car is wet and it's like you can feel it it's not like sprinklers but it's like a spray if that makes sense um so yeah let me it's at and I'm gonna go in there hopefully it's not crowded because people are trying to get this hold up hobos yeah so um I will check y'all out in a minute and let you know how it went hopefully it's fixed I'm just doing curbside at Nordstrom's to pick up the order and then I think I need to stop at Sephora on the way to Nordstrom's because um, I'll have no more concealer and sunscreen like the sunscreen stick order that I use so and I need to do all this get back go to Case's game get home change and then get on the road <laughs> so it's gonna be a busy one today so I'll see y'all in a minute Hey guys, I am done. Um, it's 11.06. It took me maybe like five, less than 10 minutes, but I was waiting because she was helping somebody else for like 10, 15 minutes or whatever. So his phone's activated. Now I'm on my way. I'm gonna stop at Sephora. I keep saying Sephora, it's Ulta. <laughs> the Sephora is like they do have a Sephora by in Coles by this particular mall, but Nordstrom's is in the bigger mall, um, which I know they have one somewhere over there. But I'm not. I'm just going to Nordstrom's curbside. But mm. coffee because I need it. Um. So yeah. So I will check y'all in a minute. Um. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. At least, yeah, I'm just going, picking that stuff up, and coming back home, and then I can relax until I have to get dressed for the game. Finally, shower, throw on some clothes, come home, change, and <laughs> we'll see how this works out. But, um, yeah, because I gotta be down there by six. I don't think it's gonna take me that long. Um, but yeah, um, this, this hair is still not, it's not, <laughs> it's not, I don't know, I don't know yet, I don't think I would get this again, but we'll see, uh, she did a good job, it's not that, it's just, I don't know if it looks right on me, I have to sit in it a couple more days, but yeah, so, go to Ulta, and then, um, Nordstrom's in, yeah, I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay hey guys, so left Ulta spending more than I wanted to. I got more than I wanted to. And I think that's what the problem is with people. <laughs> Those type of places, like I wanted to get more, but I didn't. Um, I got the concealer and um, the 
what is it called the super goop like sunscreen stick um, I've been out of it for a few days now that makes a difference well sunscreen too but it helps moisturize my face um, my face has been feeling super super dry um, and then I ran out of the I'm running out of the butter B-U-T-T-A-H I believe um, I just got the it's like an aloe miss fame famous god dang it facial um spray and um that's really like i do that at the end of my skincare and it just makes it feel a lot better not as tight um i'm like on my last leg with that like i'm spraying out <laughs> drops right now um so obviously i have to order that which is like 21 dollars, but like i refuse to pay shipping <laughs> Like, it makes it go up to, like, 30 some dollars just for shipping. And I don't know. I just don't want to spend that. So, I haven't ordered it. Um, so, i seen at checkout Mario. Don't get me the line. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. They have, like, an aloe facial mist or whatever. I got the, like, the travel, like, small kind, sample kind, whatever you want to call it, um, for $5. And then I got, like, a concealer sponge because I have a sponge but it's raggedy I need a, a definitely a new one but I got that for like six dollars in mascara because um, mine is basically dried up so that's all I got so I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent <laughs> um but yeah so yeah I'm avoiding Nordstrom's now I should be there in like a couple of minutes um, cause it's down the street from the other mall and shopping center. And then, um, I'm going to be on my way back home to try to chill for a little bit at least. Um, yeah, that's it. And I'll knock that out and then I'm going to go home and make these snack packs, where you want to call it. And, um, take my shower and get ready to go to the game rush back in get myself ready for tonight so it did stop raining um it is all overcast see that it's overcast so i don't know if it's gonna rain again later i don't know if it's really considered rain because it's not like hard coming down but um so yeah that's about it so i'll check with y'all in a little while what was I going to say I don't know I'll check with y'all in a minute that's what I was going to say <laughs> I totally um, had a brain fart just a minute ago but yeah so I have I bought some like cute cargo jeans not jeans but like cargo pants and some like um, high waisted boot cut jeans from Ross super cute but they didn't get past my damn hips <laughs> at all. They were like a junior's 15. Well, the jeans were, and then the cargo pants were um, extra large. Yeah. But they're not like the material, if you know, like, I can't even explain it. It's not like a rayon. It's, a, it's not like a typical, like, I don't know, stretchy material. So, um, I have to return those. <laughs> and I did get, um, a certain Mix-A-Lot t-shirt that I'm going to wear to the game today. But I love, like I said, I've always said this, like I have on one now, this is from Ross. Um, graphic tees, like with artists on it. Actually, yeah, they, I think majority of them, they're all artists. Uh, or album, uh, album covers or whatever, um. They're rock bands, they're R&B singers, there's, I have Snoop Dogg shirt, like I have, like, I see them, I, I get them going crazy, so the, um, Sir Mix-A-Lot t-shirt was on sale, not sale, but clearance, I think it was like $7 or something, and, um, the jeans was like $9, $10, and then the cargo pants, I think, were 15 so, I'll be taking the pants back to Ross. Um, 
and yeah so I just wanted to mention that because I didn't show I was trying to try them on last night while I was on, on the line with AT&T and it was not getting up past my hips so that, <laughs> that wasn't happening so I have to return that but I picked up the order and um, a few minutes from my house so um, I'll show you once I get in the house I know you've seen blazers before because they've been out for a long time i'm late to the party but i got the high top ones they're black they're not black they're white with the black nike sign um and that way because i have some black and white waffles some nike waffle shoes and i love them but they're kind of worn out like <laughs> i wore them i really really wore them so and these shoes i can take because i'm i have to get some stuff to take to my trip to Colorado for work so I don't know what event they're going to have the one day that we're there like if it's going to be dinner or whatever um, so I want to have <clears throat> stuff that's appropriate and just traveling and all that and then I did buy some black like flat boots they come probably to a little above the ankle from uh, a brand called Sincerely Jewels I believe which I hauled a few months back from Marshalls. I have some white ones. I think I wore them one time. I have some white boots, the same as these black ones. So those are only $29. So I'm going to keep those. And yeah, if they're cute. Like you could wear them with like a long dress, um, long skirt, jeans, whatever. But they're really cute. So I'll have to show you guys those. Um, but yeah, the brand is really, really good. Like, I think they make jeans, too. If I'm not mistaken. But the um, boots are very, very comfortable. Um, so, like I said, we're going to be walking. So, I don't know if... I'm probably going to wear my tennis shoes, though. And call it a day. But once I get in the house, I'll show you um, the stuff that I'm packing in the snack. Shit. Oh, lucky you know where I took off. He flew through the light. Wow. Um, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, I'll show you what I pack in the goodie bag. I don't want to call them goodie bags. Snack bags. Sports snacks bags. Whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I'll show you the shirts that I got. <laughs> and the shoes. I'll be back. You should reach your destination by 6.08 p.m. Sorry. <laughs> but I just had to come on here real quick. I'm dressed. Um, I decided with the Sir Mix-a-Lot shirt. And I just Turn cut right it. Turn onto West 161st Street. This is going to be annoying. Um, and yeah, I, TikTok is the GOAT. Because I was watching. Well, I wasn't looking for them. But they kept coming up on my For You page. To um, like how to continue for one mile contour or whatever um conceal all that so it helped me out a lot and i see a, a big difference but i'm on my way as you heard it's at 608 supposed to be there by six um the blazers i'm about to show y'all later but they are big i feel like i need at least um shoot 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 sorry um i need at least a half size smaller these run big i don't know if i brought brought bought men sizes or not which it could be a possibility because i was rushing trying to find something late last night or early like one o'clock this morning to put in an order to pick up today from nordstrom's and um yeah so they're gonna be funny trying to walk i need to have size smaller so maybe i could take these back to Nordstrom's I don't know but yeah I'm on my way and the hair is looking cute now <laughs> and I will see y'all when I get there
Sunday and I didn't get back home last night because it was late but the Miss Pack show was really really nice I haven't been downtown in I don't know how long I ended up getting lost for 15 minutes I had got to the parking garage at 601 and went to the screen you know, to pull in and it had a different address so I thought it was lost so me and a couple other cars pulled out and I'm driving around for 15 minutes like he's pushing me further and further away from the street that the parking garage was on. I was like, why is that happening? Come to find out I had it in walking mode, not like car on Google Maps. I don't know how that happened. So I finally was able to figure that out. It got me back to the parking garage. I was, like, I was already here and the prepay worked. So I was able to park and get in. Um, yeah, so I am up. I'm just finished cleaning the kitchen. I'm getting ready to declutter two cabinets in the kitchen let me show y'all so this is like a catch-all this is mostly like tupperware all that i cleaned it up i think it's been a couple months but i need to reorganize that and then i'm only doing two today and the other one is this one. And this is where all of our mugs, that's my scale right there, pitcher. This goes into our um, crock pot. And then we have a lot of those bottles. You can see all up at the top. That's our pressure cooker slash slow cooker. Um, but yeah, so it's a lot of mugs. So I'm gonna get declutter some. So I'll show you you've seen it before and I'll show you it after and I'll be back okay so I'm gonna show y'all everything I took down that I want to keep and get rid of all of these that's what I want to keep up until this point and then all of this I want to get rid of all of that so everything out of it looks like I can't really reach up there but I want to get rid of that's like a salad container it's never been used and then there's another couple bottles up there but we'll see which ones we're gonna keep and get rid of okay so we'll get ready to of this stuff away and this is what the end result was so much cleaner things ain't falling to the cabinet where we decluttered majority of the bottles in the cups so that's what we left with so it's a lot cleaner for now so i'm gonna tackle more in the kitchen but not today because i definitely need to clean out like organize this again and get rid of some stuff this is like our food cabinets where we keep most of our cans and all of that cups like glass cups i need to go through that cabinet and then it's like pantry looking thing. I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. So stay tuned for that. So I thank you for watching my weekend vlog. Hopefully you liked it. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you can get notified every time I upload. And until next time, peace.